first regular season day three, it started with a self really walk, a Christian Yelich catcher interference, and an RBI single by Willie Adams making them one to nothing. Oliver Dunn would get the third out. The Mets would have a practical one, two, three, except for a P. Luanzo single. Bryce String would get his fourth stolen base, and Jackson Trio would make an RBI double, making it two to nothing. Self really would get the third out. Francisco Rodriguez would hit a double, and then Tyrone Taylor would hit an RBI single, making it two to one. Former Brewer Omar Narvaez would ground out to second for the third out. Christian Yelch would get walked, Billy Adams would get walked, and Oliver Dunn would be hit by a pitch. And just to ruin the inning, Reese Hoskins would ground into a double play. The Mets would go 1 2 3. Then the Brewers would go 1 2 3. Francisco Alvarez walk, Brett Beatty single, and a Tyrone Taylor walk. Johan Ramirez would come in and give up a double, an intentional walk, and a walk. Plus an RBI single to Oliver Dunn, making it 3 to 1. Reese Hoskins and Joey Ortiz would get back to back outs. The Mets would have a practical 1 2 3 except for a Pete Alonzo single. Bryce Durang would double and Wheeling Contreras would double, making it 4 to 1. Christian Yelch would get the third out. Brian Hudson would come in and give up a single. Willie Dumps would hit a single. The Mets would go 1 2 3. Drew Smith would come in and give up a walk and a single. The Mets would have a present 1 2 3 except for a Starley Marte double. Brooks Raley would come in and give up a 1 2 3. Yoel Pyams would come in in the ninth and go 1 2 3. All right, the Brewers win 4 to 1. The record is now 4 0, and the Brewers respect the Brewers player of the game goes to Oliver Dunn. And the next Brewers game will be Tuesday versus the Twins in Milwaukee.